Hi everybody, it's Guru Bob and welcome to day 5 of module 3 for the challenge in 2010. Today I'm going to be continuing the posterous theme that Ed started yesterday and showing you how to set up sites on three different Web 2.0 platforms. And these are going to be WordPress, Tumblr and Typepad. Now all of these sites have different ways that you can customize the sites. That's not really what we're interested in. So I'm just going to be showing you quickly where to go to set up the account, but more importantly, where specifically to go in the setup process where you can engineer the backlink, that all important backlink, back to your WordPress direct blog. It's up to you how much effort you want to put into uh, optimizing the sites themselves. We're not so interested in how well these sites are going to rank in the search engines. We merely want them to get indexed so you get credit for that all-important backlink. So, without further ado, let's start with WordPress. And here we are back on the screen. And uh, first up, I'm just going to use some examples from my own Postgres network that I set up around my personal blog at gurubob.co, just so you get an example of uh, how, we're, how we're trying to set this up and what it should look like. So this is gurubob.wordpress.com and that's uh, been added into my posters network and you can see uh, you know I've got a number of posts here things that are just general things that I've been posting into posters um, and on the right hand side in the sidebar there's a blog roll and I have used that blog roll to create a couple of links now in the case of blogs um, occasionally you can have multiple links so I've taken an opportunity here not only to get a link to my uh, to my main blog which is Guru Bob's blog um, which is uh, at gurubob.co but uh, I've also um, got a link to my Twitter account um, and also a link to the posterous uh, site as well after my main blog the posterous site is going to be your next most important blog so if you can get an opportunity to get a link back to that site then uh, why not take that opportunity so that's what we're trying to set up here now you can see this is a very simple theme for those of you that, that know WordPress, this is the Kubrick theme, which is uh, used on thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of blogs online. So it's a very generic theme. Um, I'm not particularly interested in how this site looks. I think this is, um, nevertheless, the, the default theme is, is very, very straightforward. So um, I'm quite happy to go with that. I'm more interested in getting these links here. That's, what I, that's why I've set this up. So how do we get a WordPress.com site? Well, we have to go to www.wordpress.com. And on the top right hand so, uh, corner, you can see there's a button here that says sign up now and that's where you're going to be going. So we click on that button. Uh, we um, come to a page where we can register some details and uh, I'm going to do this quickly here. Um, the username I'm going to use here is the same one that uh, Ed used yesterday, probably when he was setting up Postgres, which is going to be challenge 2010 and uh, I'm going to provide an email address and go through that so I'll see you when I finish this process. Well it turned out that a uh, combination of the use of the number 2010 and challenge had already been used in WordPress quite a lot so I've, I've had to be very creative to find a uh, a blog URL that's not being used and I finally I found one 2010tc.wordpress.com um, so I'm on the next step of, uh, of signing up um, for the blog title, of course, I've made that relevant to uh, to the micro niche here. So I've just called it the challenge blog. I've selected English as my language, and uh, I expect this blog to be public. Of course, we want um, we want to be able to see it, including the search engine spiders. So I'm continuing the sign up process. Okay, so they sent they will as part of the sign up process, they will send you an activation email that you need to activate. So I'm going to go off and do that. Whilst they're doing that here, they, you can see that we have a chance of uh, putting something into the profile for the blog. I'm just going to put a name here. I'm just going to leave the profile blank for now. Okay, so after I activated the blog in the email account and um, updated the email address, um, I can now navigate to the, uh, to the new blog address, 2010tc.wordpress.com. And you can see that uh, WordPress has, has set up a just a default uh, uh, blog here, which I can now go in and begin to modify as I wish. And the way that I'm going to do that, there's two ways: either click on the login um, link here under the meta the meta uh, section, or you can go up to the top URL 
and add the phrase wp-admin to the uh, to the end of the URL and that will take you to the login page for the blog of course I'm going to use my username and password that I provided in the sign up process and that is going to take me to the back end um, of the of the WordPress blog now the control panel area of a WordPress blog can be a little daunting if this is the first time that you've seen it uh, in, fact, in fact this is one of the main reasons why we use um, WordPress direct in the uh, in the challenge because it does simplify the management of a WordPress blog considerably but in the case of setting up a WordPress blog on WordPress.com for the Posterous network, then we do need to deal with the uh, with this um, control panel area. So I'm going to actually focus your attention on the most important things that we need you to do to complete this exercise. Um, in 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 the case of this WordPress blog, we're going to be uh, uh, focusing on the Appearance tab and on the Links tab because that's what we're trying to achieve here. So firstly, let's click on the Appearance tab. And you can see that the default theme that's been installed uh, when I installed WordPress was the 2010 theme. Now, um, there's a number of themes available here for you to choose and, and, and that's, uh, that's for you to decide. Um, I'm going to be uh, showing you the Kubrick theme, which is the one that I used on the Guru Brob example at the beginning of this video. Um, and I find that theme just by clicking that in the search box and, and you can see the theme has been identified and I can click activate. Um, by activating the theme and uh, refreshing, you can see that, uh, that Kubrick is now the current theme that's, that WordPress is using. And if I go to the, to the blog and refresh, then you can see that uh, the, the blog looks different because it's applied, WordPress has applied the Kubrick theme. Now, you can see here on the left-hand side that there's a number of uh, functions that are by default um, installed using the Kubrick theme. There's pages, archives, categories, and the blog role is already there and some meta information. Now that is actually a part of the theme. Depending on which you th theme you choose, those features may not be there and, uh, and therefore you may need to, um, to go and add them in. I'm going to quickly show you how you, you would do that. So in the case of, uh, let's say you chose a theme and, uh, and, and, and the sidebar of that theme did not in, in include say the links widget, which is what we absolutely uh, need, need to be there, then you would go into widgets and you would, um, you, you would drag the, those uh, theme functions, incl including most importantly, the links uh, widget across into the, into the sidebar here. Now the Kubrick theme automatic, automatically has the blog roll link in the sidebar, but if you're, the theme that you choose doesn't have that, then, then you will need to do that. Now, Having, uh, having ensured that your, your blog displays the, link, the blog role links, and you can see that's, that's definitely the case here, the way we manage those links is to click on the links tab on the left hand side. Now, when you install WordPress, it may be that uh, WordPress um, introduces a number of blog role links here to various WordPress uh, URLs. Um, I've uh, already deleted um, the most of those. I've left one here because I'm happy to give WordPress one link from my blog. Um, but the others that were there, I just deleted them. Um, and having done so, I'm now going to add a new link to my main site that I'm trying to build a link to. In this case, it's the challenge blog. And the address of the blog is, of course, challenge.co forward slash blog. And having, having put the anchor text in, the challenge blog and the URL, I can now click add link. And if I go back to the site and refresh, you can see in my blog role here on the left hand side, I've now got an anchor text specific link, in this case, the challenge blog, um, pointing, pointing back to the, uh, to the site. And this is the whole reason we're, we're setting up this WordPress site, is to give us that keyword specific link back to our main site. All right, at this stage, the blog is empty. There's no posts apart from this, uh, this default hello world post. Um, but as we start posting to Posterous, then Posterous will automatically take that post and publish it across all of the sites that you've registered in your uh, Posterous account, including WordPress. All right, before I leave here, um, the control panel, you can see that um, as part of the sign-up process, I, I, gave, uh, I gave the blog a title, the challenge blog. You can see that there's, there's uh, 
there's a subhead here or a subtitle here which isn't particularly keyword relevant. Um, if you did want to change that, and I suggest that you do, you do that by clicking on the settings tab on the left hand side and you can see that there's a tagline here which, which you can change. And that's where you would do that. All right, now, how do we add the WordPress details into Postress? Well, of course, we go and log into the Postress account. And uh, you can see that we've got a number of tabs. Once we've selected our main Postress um, side here, we've got a number of tags, posts, pages, contributors, subscribers, etc. We need to click onto the Auto Post tab and we need to add a service. Now, all of the sites we're going to be sort of introducing you as part of the challenge training uh, are configurable within Postress. So um, you can be confident that they will be there. We just need to click on the WordPress one in this particular case. And in order for us to add that WordPress blog to Postress, there's three bits of information that's needed here. We have to provide the URL of the, um, of the WordPress blog, the username, and of course the password that we used when we registered the site. I don't, I don't bother with the advanced options. I think Postress does a fairly good job of managing the post settings, which is what that's about. And uh, after clicking on the link button, that site has been now added and registered with Postress. Now, um, for all the sites that, uh, that I'm gonna be talking about over the next couple of days, the process will always be the same. Once you've created that site, you need to go back to Postress um, add the service that, that, that the site relates to and then provide the information. Most of the time Postress is going to be asking either for a URL and a username and password so that you can properly register that site. All right, well that's, uh, that's WordPress. Um, hopefully that was reasonably straightforward. Um, and uh, in the next video I'm going to be showing you how to create a Tumblr site. Talk to you soon.